tonight, the Dragons are coming to GTTV. I'm here at Bethesda Game Studios to give you an exclusive behind the scenes look at the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Todd Howard and the team are gonna break big news. We've got exclusive new footage and we reveal new dragon shouts nobody else has ever heard. There's no need to shout. GTTV starts right now. Hey everybody, welcome to an all new GTTV. I'm Jeff Keeley, and this week I'm here at Bethesda Game Studios because we are just over three weeks away until the release of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. And tonight we've got tons of exclusive new info and footage for you guys. And of course we have to kick things off with Todd Howard. Todd, you guys are just wrapping up the game. Skyrim is coming 11-11. How does it feel? <laughs> feels good. It's been a very uh, long but uh, productive three years on this game and uh, we have poured ourselves into this and we're ecstatic to be done and just get it out in everybody's hands. For folks that may not have seen a lot on Skyrim, this is obviously a story about you as the Dragonborn and the dragons who are trying to, to take over this land, right? Yeah, so uh, in the Elder Scrolls, dragons have been kind of, they've been in the lore, they haven't really been in the games. so. With this game, dragons have returned. And your character is dragonborn, which means you are born with the soul of a dragon. It's kind of this mystery in the main quest why the dragons have returned and the role that you, you play in that. So um, it lets us tell an interesting story that has a little bit of a mystery, but as well, it also is something that gives the player power. He's kind of invested in it through what does this mean for him personally, but then as you slay dragons, you collect their souls and you can kind of absorb their power. And you've been on record saying there are a lot of dragons in this game. I think some people when they you know, see a dragon in a trailer, they're like, oh yeah, that's the one dragon at the end of the game you're gonna defeat. That's not true, right? That's not true, no. Uh, we, have, we have about six main types of dragons okay. that come in different um, colors and power levels. And then there are also named dragons. When this game starts, you're on your way to your execution, right? You are. You're being taken to your execution. You, uh, for one reason or another, start most Elder Scrolls games as a prisoner. Right. And we kind of like to start you with a clean slate where you're going to tell that story in your head. And then uh, we introduce you to the world. We're not really going to spoil what happens in the first half hour when we're setting up the story and the events of that. Okay. But then you escape out into the world. You know, it's that same moment that we like where you step out and right. it's almost like, well, I can do anything I want. You're just looking at this big vista. Hey guys, welcome back to GTTV. This week we are honored to be here with Todd Howard and the team at Bethesda Game Studios looking at Skyrim. So Todd, an important part of this game are the shouts, dragon shouts, these words that you can call out that will summon amazing powers. And tonight, you're gonna reveal some new shouts that I think are gonna get the fans pretty excited. Yeah, we are. We've talked before about calling a storm. Yep. We've shown that before. Uh, whirlwind sprint, the ability to move fast, slow down time, and um, unrelenting force is uh, the one where you can push things around. We also have a cool one which is called ice form, where you shout it and you can encase your enemies in ice. And what's cool about this is um, you can either kind of paralyze them and leave them there and they'll be taking damage, yep. or you can run up and shatter the ice, hurt them yourself. So it's a really cool way of dealing with different combat scenarios. Uh -huh. The other one we have is called Elemental Fury. This is one where you can actually shout at your weapons, and then the air forms around them, and you can swing them faster. So if you have a really good sword or something that you like, you can use that shout, and then it's, it's doing damage at a, at a faster rate. You guys have teased these dragons all year. You've shown them. You've shown these kind of emergent battles that can happen. Mm -hmm. But at some point, there's going to be an opportunity, I think, also to interact with the dragons and align with them, right? There is a point in the game, um, and we, we debated whether or not we would reveal this yeah. uh, for you guys, but it's, it's getting close to release, and it's just, we can't hold it back anymore. Really, it's like, this is so cool. Let's just talk about it. There is a point in the game where you earn the allegiance of one of these other dragons who is named when you have the allegiance of this dragon, you can actually shout and call his name to the sky. And then where he is in the world, he will fly and come and help you. Uh -huh. So the only thing that could possibly be cooler than fighting a dragon is having a dragon come and be your ally. And you could do this wherever you want. You can do it in the middle of town. Uh, you could be in a big fight outside. What looks 
particularly cool, it works best at that point of the game if another dragon attacks you. You could be call fighting that dragon and then call your dragon and watch the dragons fight. Wow. So, so there's a real kind of kinship, I guess, developed between you and this dragon. Uh, yes. Well, that's very touching. It's later, it's later in the game. Okay. But so that's interesting that, you know, you obviously have the idea of, you know, calling in this dragon. Is that at any time you can do that? I mean, at some point it's going to have to go away and I mean, it can't it, constantly be with you, right? It, it's, you can't have it constantly with right. you. I'm just saying you can do it. There aren't any limitations. Not like your dog in Fable. <laughs> there aren't any limitations when you're outside yeah. to where it works and where it, where it doesn't. Uh, if he can get there, he'll usually... Probably won't fit in the dungeon there. No, you can't do it inside. Yeah. That's the limitation. Okay, our trip through the world of Skyrim continues. I'm now here with Matt, who is the lead artist. So, Matt, tell us about the look and feel of Skyrim. So, Skyrim is, you know, a much more rugged game than we've done in the past. We want things to be, you know, this sort of epic reality. That's what we call it internally, where every view in the game is dramatic and beautiful, and it's this harsh world. You know, it's the home of the Nord, so everything in the world has to sort of reflect that. Speaking of the dragon shouts, we're talking about some new shouts tonight on the show for the first time, and you got one for us, right, Matt? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. One shout I'm really excited to talk about is the Become Ethereal shout. This shout is really important because uh, you can use it in multiple ways. Basically, you shout and you become invincible for you know a certain amount of time. You can use it in combat, you know, to take damage, but you can't fight during the shout. But more importantly, you can use it to, you know, for tactical advantages. So, for instance, we have this quest, and one of the ways you have to escape is you, you are forced out onto a balcony in the city. And if you use Become Ethereal Shout, you can jump off the balcony and survive a fall that would normally kill you. So it's a, it's a good way to maneuver the world. I mean, you can actually jump down mountains with this shout and you know, get away from any creature who's attacking you. So you can become invincible if you shout out what three words? So it's Fimezy Grown, the words of the dragon language, and they mean fade, spirit, and bind. Now, as you go through dungeons, you're going to see some of these words kind of written on walls, right? And then yes. you can somehow, you know, read them and then understand them. So the way it works is you'll find these ancient carvings, you know, written in the dragon language, and a few of the words will actually be words of power, and those are the special words that will teach you a shout. So because you're Dovahkiin, you can look at these words and absorb their energy, and that will teach you the dragon language. Hey guys, we're back on GTTV, wrapping things up with Todd Howard as we count down to Skyrim. Uh, so Todd, you guys have been working on this game for three years, it's almost out now, and even though we've shown a lot tonight, there are tons of surprises left for folks when they play the game, right? It is, I, I still feel with you know the assets that are being put out there, us talking about the game, it really, we are scratching the surface as to what, just how much stuff is in this game and everything you can do. And now, you know, you guys already announced that the, the game will continue with DLC as you guys have on other games, so that the world doesn't stop after you finish playing this game, right? You know, we enjoy making DLC. Um, it, it's kind of a fun way to extend the game and, and, and find things of opportunity that we, we didn't do before. No matter how big the game is, our consumers and our fans, they, they always want more. You guys obviously had so many ideas when you started with this game a number of years ago and huge expectations from the fans. Now that you're just wrapping it up, I mean, what are you most proud of from a feature perspective in Skyrim? I think it's the whole thing together. I can't point to one feature and say, outside of dragons, you know, I think they came out, we were very conservative with our design for them. Like, well, we'll get them doing this and they'll fly around. When they get hurt, they'll land so we can keep them on the ground. But it's one of those things we just kept working on it yep. and the guys who did it and from the animation to their AI to the sound effects to the gameplay, they came out better than we thought they would, honestly. Yep. So, you know, I think they're the thing that most people can easily point to and say, oh, that's really new and unique. But our story system as well, um, for how dynamic the game is, I mean, still to this day, I put thousands of hours in the game, really. It still surprises me. Like, oh, that combined with that does does this. Look what I can do. What's special about the game is everybody here got about 100 guys on the team. Right. We, we've poured ourselves into this, and the amount of stuff in it, and the amount of creativity that the team has put into the game, and then the amount of creativity that we give to the players, I think that's what that's what excites us about not just Skyrim, but video games in general.
All right, that's going to do it for this week on GTTV. I've got the Skyrim Dragon from the Collector's Edition behind me, and you can check out the game on 11.11 for the PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. And you can head to GT.TV right now to see all that exclusive footage again. We'll see you next week for an all-new episode right here on Spike. <laughs>